Well, hello, hello. It's Bree with BS in the Afternoon on Hits 105.5. And I'm super excited today behind the business. We have Adam Rose from Western Ohio Mortgage. Adam, how are you today? Oh, I'm doing great. Get to be here in the studio with you. I'm usually stuck in my own little podcast studio talking to a <laughs> camera by myself. So, Well, I'm excited that you're here. I'm glad that you could get out of your out of your little podcast. Yeah, area. I'm usually stuck in my dungeon in the office all day. <laughs> That's awesome. And so, you, um, what is your role at Western Ohio Mortgage? So, I'm the vice president of sales operations and senior loan consultant there. Uh, what don't I do is the question there. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have time to do a podcast. And, and then I do a podcast. And all these other things. So, uh, you know, my day to day really is dealing with the clientele. So I specialize in advising clients, preparing clients in order to get them in position for home ownership, right? That's primary job. Um, I hire an entire staff that helps me get these files from point A to B to closing. So, so my role f- is, is forward focused, right? So a client calls in, they're not quite ready. We're going to get them there. We're going to review uh, their financials and get them in position as they're shopping for a house. You know, I'm helping doing the payment scenarios, talking about product, helping the realtor get them into contract. And that's my focus mainly. Uh, there's a lot of stuff on the backside that people don't realize or see with a mortgage company. And so I do help with those duties as well. That's awesome. And um, how long have you been at Western Ohio Mortgage? So I've been in now, oh, we just, I just went 11 years, 11 years. Oh, wow. um, it's crazy. Time flies. So our company has been around since 99. Uh, it's a family owned business. So I had a feeling that I might jump into it at some point by <laughs> force. So um, I volunteered for the most part though. So they didn't have to pull me and drag, dragging or dragging me and kicking and screaming. But uh, it, I joined in 2012, uh, and it was it was going to be 08 after I graduated college, okay? But 08, if you're familiar with 2008 and what happened in 2008, especially in the mortgage industry, it wasn't a great time to join the family business. So I did my own thing for about four years and then joined in 2012 and haven't looked back since. That's awesome. And so um, are you, do you regret going into the family business? I don't, no. No, I don't. I mean, you know what? It's going to have its pluses and minuses. We're going to have some disagreements and some arguments, but honestly, we can uh, we can kind of go back and forth and bicker, and it it's all works out. An hour later, it's like we forgot about it. Yeah. It's kind of like working with a couple of friends, right? Yes, exactly. It is. So, exactly. Uh, but I feel like all of our conversations are revolving around business. Very rarely do we just sit and talk and chat about family and doing stuff. It's every time we're together, it's business, 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 business. So it kind of gets a little old, but. Um, it was great. You know, everybody's involved with it. My wife is, is very supportive with it. Um, dad's involved in, in different aspects of it. And so it's, it's really good. Yeah. Um, I've spoken to so many different people that have worked with you mm-hmm. um, to get a mortgage. And they absolutely love working with you. And they say that you're a pleasure to be around. You're always happy. You're always in good spirits. And you're always available. Um, and you just mentioned your wife. So what's your, what's your immediate family think about you always working? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, they get a little annoyed with it sometimes. Um, you know, cause I have a bad habit of, I hate, you know, if I have my phone with me always, who doesn't have their phone with them on them yeah. all the time, yeah, right? It's, the time. it's kind of a bad habit, but something goes off. I have to immediately respond. I can't stand it. Like when there's two <laughs> me- emails, three emails yeah. stacking up, I immediately respond and you know, my family gets it. Um, and I think that's a lot of the reasons why a lot of clients come back to us and they call us to begin with, you know, I answer the phones on Sundays, all weekends, late at night, early in the morning and, uh, get them the answers they need because the faster I can respond to them or their agent or the title company or whoever it is, the quicker we can get those borrowers into contract or closer to the finish line. Absolutely. That's awesome. I know personally, when I worked with you, um, our family was relieved that we could call you and you could explain something that we didn't understand. Um, and I always felt like, oh, I have a dumb question. And you were like, no. And you <laughs> no there's no dumb down. questions. Go ahead. Yep, yep. It's, you it's broke a very it down confusing and, process. And helped us. Um, yeah. You know, buying a home isn't always that much fun. It's extremely stressful. Yeah. You know, people are worried about every little thing that could go wrong with it more than buying the home itself. They're like, oh, they're going to see this. Oh, what if this happens? What if this happens? Um, so we try to take that that worry and ease your mind a little bit and like, hey, we got your back. We got you. We're going to take you from start to finish. Don't worry. If we run into an issue, we'll be able to get over that hurdle. Yeah. And you guys do a fantastic job. Thank you. So. Thank you. Well, awesome. And so where are you guys located? So we're here in Sydney. 
Uh, we are actually at 733 Fair Road, so we're right across the street from the fairgrounds, and right now it's Fair Week, <laughs> so it's a little crazy, crazy over there, <laughs> uh, right next to High Grounds Cafe Coffee Shop, okay. which is another bad location because... I spend way too much money over I was there. just going to ask you if you spent all your money. <laughs> <I spent laughs> way too much. Yes. yes. Okay. Um, and um, do you guys have any other locations? Well, we have a couple, yeah. So we uh, are another main branch is in Mason, Ohio, down around the Kings Island area. And we also have people that work for us in, in Kentucky as well as Florida. Uh, Licensure-wise, where we're doing business, we do bis- uh, business in Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, obviously, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Florida. Um, Tennessee actually is quite a hotbed of new construction down there. So oh, that's awesome. uh, we do a decent amount of business out of state. Okay. And um, why do you love working at Western, Western Ohio Mortgage so much? Well, it's family. I kind of get to run the own, my own, write my own ticket in essence, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, doing what I do um, is commission-based, uh, but I've always been a kind of a lead by example. So you have the flexibility of some freedom of time. I never really take advantage of that, but you always have that, that upside of working wherever you need to work. So if I have some scheduling conflicts, if I need to work from home, I can do that. Um, if you know, I'm on the road, I can still work while on the road. So we go to conferences in San Diego or Chicago or wherever we're at, I can still complete my job. Right. Uh, and that's another reason why, uh, you know, we're so forward facing with clients and how we help them so much. Not a lot of people hire an entire staff to take care of files while they're gone, right? A lot of times when the guy is gone, it's like, well, nothing's getting done. Well, good news is while I'm out, even right now, my staff are working on files to try to get them to the closing table. So, yes, that's so it, awesome. it's, it's nice to have that support. Okay. So here's the true question. Uh-oh. We were talking about podcast earlier. Yep. Um, what is your co- podcast? So it's the Mortgage GI Podcast. You can check it out on YouTube. Okay. I'm actually recording myself right now just in case I need another (laughs) filler video for the show. Uh, Because like you said, time is kind of a problem sometimes, you know, with with all the the duties that we have and having a family and and traveling a lot with them and and trying to keep them entertained on the weekends and not work all the time. Um, I still squeeze in a podcast. All right. So Mortgage GI Podcast, YouTube, it's on Apple uh, podcast is on Spotify. Really what we do is I use it for branding purposes just to keep my name out there in front of people. And we talk everything mortgage. We talk local business owners. We talk about what's happening in the market, different types of products. We do um, uh, like almost like a, a buyer education course inside the video. So when you go out to our YouTube channel, which uh, it's all categorized, right? So you can, if you're a first time buyer, you're like, you know, I just want to learn a little bit about what it's like to buy a house, right? We're going to have those categorized for people to, to check out. And it's still developing, right? We have about uh, 31 or 32 videos thus far out there. And we're going to continue um, pushing that out there on Wednesday mornings. Awesome. So that's really cool. Do you have any advice for anyone that um, wants to either sell or buy their house right now? Oh, that's a that's <laughs> a surprise question, isn't it? It was. Yeah, that's a surprise question. So uh, the thing is, is it's People ask me, hey, is it a good time to buy a house? I said, well, technically, it's always a good time to buy a house because owning a home is the number one equity builder in the country. It really is. Ask people that bought their home in uh, 2019 and if they sold it in 2022 or 2023 and see how much money they made off of it. And they're able to put that investment into the next property, buy investment properties with it. So it's always a good time to buy. Yes, there's some fear in the markets because of rates and the payments are a little bit high right now. That's one of those things that we're going to get through. Um, I don't like to quote rates. I'm definitely not going to quote rates over the radio. That's definitely (laughs) not happening. There's going to be a whole length or little paragraph of disclosures if I do that. But rates will come down. Uh, Based off what the Fed is doing, trying to tame inflation, and they're really, really close to their 2% target. So we're going to start seeing those mortgage rates to start to ease off a little bit towards the end of this year into next year. And uh, based off projections that we're seeing, they state that next year we should see some refinance, refinances again. So people that have bought over the last you know 12 to 18 months that might have rates in the upper fives to all the way up to the mid sevens is where they kind of hit. They're going to be able to refinance. And they're talking 2025 might be the biggest buying year that we've ever seen. And they believe that because the rates might, might go down into the low fives, upper fours. Um, and we feel that all these people that have this pent-up energy that we're like, ah, you know, now's not the great time for me to list my house. A, I'm having a hard time finding one. My payment might be a little bit higher. So those people are going to jump into the market, we believe, and it's going to uh, it's going to be an interesting year. 
Oh, so, that sounds fun. That yeah, sounds fun. it should be interesting. Um, we were talking about that on the show the other week. We were talking about, um, who was it? I can't remember who was on the show, but they were talking about, you know, oh, just always refinance. And I'm like, I think that's really scary for people. It's just even just the thought of refinancing, mm-hmm. even yeah. though it could be beneficial because you're always moving. So, um, you know, um, we're just going to keep encouraging people to look for houses and sell their houses and be out there on the market because any time is a good time um, to invest in property, I think. And it, that, it that's my words, is. obviously. It, it absolutely <laughs> is. And, you know, for sellers, I, I think a lot of sellers are concerned about being able to find the next home, right? They're like, well, yeah. what if I list my house and someone snatches it up in two days and I don't have anywhere to go. Well, you know, you can talk to your local real estate agent. There are plenty here in Sydney, uh, a lot of great ones. And there's a lot of ways that you can list your home and protect yourself so you're not homeless. All right. So it can buy you some time to find the next home of your choosing. Oh, that's, that's um, a comforting so that's thing. So that's a nice way to go to put in your contract when you list your home. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Well, I'm super excited that you were on the show today. I'm glad that you got to come in and talk to us. And I'm definitely going to have to check out Mortgage Guy Podcast. And you said that you can find that on Apple and where else? Yep, it's on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and you can find me on YouTube. Okay, or we can just find you um, in the High Grounds parking lot. Uh, Pretty much, yeah. (laughs) I usually walk, so, So, you know, it's about 20 feet. So I need to get my steps in. Get your steps in for that coffee. Yes. All right. This is BS in the afternoon on Hits 105.5, and we'll be right back after this.